video is how to get good grades and I have been requested this video so many times so I figured I would do it for you guys and I made this little list here actually it's a pretty long list of different things that you guys can do to you know change your study habits I can't tell you guys a list of things and then you like if you do them you'll automatically get good grades but you can fix your study habits which will therefore you know help you get better grades so I just wanted to share some ideas with you guys also there's some more like final tips my school unfortunately doesn't get out until mid-june so I've got quite a while to go so your finals might not be coming up right now personally for me I have midterms I just had two midterms yesterday thank god they're over but I mean you guys are gonna have finals eventually no matter what school whatever grade you're in actually elementary school doesn't have finals do you lucky so anyways, these are just a bunch of tips to help you guys throughout finals week, midterms week, any kind of tests, and basically just help you guys get better grades overall. So let's get started. So my number one tip is definitely the biggest one. If you follow, if you abide by this rule, you will be so forever grateful, I promise you. I need to work on it very much so myself, but it is to not procrastinate. I am a huge procrastinator. If I have a test like this Friday, I'll be like, oh, I'll study on like, you know, tomorrow, and then I'll, tomorrow will come. You know, I'll study next day. I'll study the next day until I'm like cramming Thursday night to study, which is not good, and I really highly recommend that you fix that now, especially if you're younger, because it's just gonna get easier for you as you get older. If you don't procrastinate and you learn to do things on time, I wish I could listen to myself. So along with procrastination, I suggest you should keep a planner. I just recently started carrying a planner. In middle school and high school, they like would hand them out, but in college, you're kind of like on your own. You have to do it yourself. So I just invested in a planner, but thank God I did because seriously, it helps out so, so, so much. I wrote down when all my homeworks do because they give me like a long schedule, like my classes, everything. It's just great. I highly recommend keeping a planner, keeping binders, keeping folders to organize your things because honestly, organization will help you get better grades. Number two is to utilize the internet. I personally wish I had the internet. Well, I'm not like 100 years old, but back when I was in like elementary school, like people who are in elementary school, like middle school, you guys have such great like tools that you can use now that you can utilize to help you with not only being like socially in check with social media and everything, but also help you get better grades. There are so many great websites to help you guys get better grades. It's insane and I, I wish I had those like tools back when I was younger But at least I have them now and I can use them now So I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorites so the first website I have is called 24houranswers.com Which is an amazing website where basically I'm, I'm gonna link all the websites down below But you can submit your homework assignments and they'll like correct them for you and help you out with things that you need help on Also, you can get tutor help if you guys need help with special things on your homework or you know studying tips stuff like that You guys can get help from a tutor which I actually used to go to tutors when I was younger I have to like go every single week like specific days of the week and like go into this weird building that smelled like mold and like this old lady would help me do my homework which was great because she'd help me out but at the same time now you can get the help online without even leaving your house it's amazing I'm sorry when I get excited I start to yell also, if you're of age, you can actually apply to be a tutor and, you know, help out other people who need help with their homework and get paid, which is really awesome if you want to make money from home and, you know, it, you can help other people while getting paid. It's great. Another website that I really like to use is called mathway.com. I swear to you, I use this all the time. I'm really, really, really bad at math. It's definitely not my best subject. I know I'm a bad Asian, but it's okay because all you have to do is go to this website and you like type in whatever um, your problem is and then you select what subject it is. So like pre-calc, um, pre-algebra, algebra, tr trigonometry, all those great subjects, sub-subjects within math and it'll help you out. It'll tell you the answer and it'll tell you how to get the answer. I kid you not, this has helped me so many times on my math test. It's not even funny. My last favorite website is called Hemingway.com. I actually found this through one of my sorority sisters. It's really awesome. If you like have to type up a paper or something, like let's say an essay, um, a lot of times your college grades rely on just a couple papers, which is very, very, very nerve wracking because if you don't do well, you basically fail the class. So what you do is you just like copy your essay from like Microsoft Word into the website and it'll like tell you what like grammatical errors you made, what are run on sentences. Like sometimes you don't know and sometimes when you get peer edits, it doesn't help. I swear to you, just try out these websites and it, it will, it will help you out so much. I swear by them. Number three is to go to class. If you're in middle school or high school or elementary school, you don't really have to worry about this. You're pretty much, you have to go to class. If you're in college, I understand the struggle. 
If you don't go to class, you basically don't get in trouble because there's like 500 people in your lecture hall. Like the teacher's not gonna notice that you're not there. And so it can be kind of hard to get to class, but trust me, go to class. It will help you out so much. Obviously this one goes without saying, but just, just go to class. Number four is to go to office hours or create a study group or just get some sort of outside help. You can like email everybody in your class, say like, hey guys, I need help on like this study guide or I don't understand this. Can anybody meet up with me? And like, we can chat about it. You know. Know, anything like that make study groups just meet with people make friends within the class it'll make a world of difference and it'll really help out your grade number five is to use slugbooks.com I am NOT being sponsored by them but I know that a lot of people on YouTube have like done videos on it before so I was like oh it sounds pretty cool so I'm gonna look it up oh my god you can save so much money on textbooks again if you're not in college you don't really have to buy your own textbooks so you don't have to worry about it this is shout out to my college friends out there College textbooks, buying them sucks. I've spent so much money on textbooks, it's not even funny. I, a lot of things in this video are not even funny. But seriously, I've like invested in so many textbooks and it's so expensive just for a book. A book can be like $100 to $200 easily. So on Slugbooks, if you guys just like type in whatever book you need and then it'll like compare every single price you can get it for online, used, new. I buy them always used because it's way cheaper. I, I've spent too much money on textbooks. So I really recommend the website. I'm, again, I'm not being sponsored, but it's just a really cool website. And if you want to save money, I suggest checking it out. Number six is to not get distracted by the internet. I know the struggle of how hard it is when you're just trying to like do your homework or something. Unfortunately, my math homework is due online. Like how am I supposed to do my homework and not get distracted by Facebook or Tumblr or looking up Theo James on Google? What the heck? Are you, I, I, are you kidding me? So I was doing my homework the other night and I, my friend kept seeing that I got distracted. So she suggested that I use this website and it's actually really cool and I actually really do suggest it. It does help a lot even though it really sucks. It's called selfcontrolapp.com or something. I'll link it down below. But basically you like type in what websites you want to ban yourself from. So I did Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube. I think that was the five I did. And it won't let you go onto those websites forever, however long you like put it for. I mean, in the end it works out, but it, I understand that it's probably very sucky when you're in the middle of doing it. But honestly, I think that I need that little push of self-control and that website will help you and it'll help you get better grades. <laughs> Number seven is to give yourself study breaks. I know that tests and things like that and classes and school just itself is very, very, very stressful, but you need to make sure to give yourself study breaks because if you don't, like, it's not gonna help you whatsoever just cramming everything in your brain because you're not gonna remember things and you really do need to take a break every once in a while. Just take some deep breaths, just step back for a little bit, relax, and you're going to be okay. Number eight kinda goes more with, like, studying for midterms and finals, which I'm, I'm sorry a lot of these do. Midterms are just on my brain right now, but Anyways, my tip for number eight is to take naps, and I know that's probably not the best thing ever to tell you guys. If you just want to be rejuvenated for the day because you're really tired, you had a really long day at school, take a 20 minute nap and it will change your whole life around, I swear. Set your alarm for 30 minutes, which is what I do, so I have 10 minutes to just fall asleep, I sleep for 20 minutes, I wake up, and I, my life is changed forever. I'll be studying for something and I'll just get so tired and bored of studying and I'm just exhausted. Take a nap for 20 minutes, I wake up and I'm ready to study again and it has helped my grades out so much. Number nine kind of goes along with number eight, which is basically what I'm trying to say is, don't mess up your sleep schedule. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times during finals week I pull all-nighters, which is so dumb because I do procrastinate. If you don't procrastinate, you start studying early and you don't pull all-nighters, you will be perfectly fine and your grades will just be, ah, I look like an angel right now. Ah. Number 10 is time management. This is a really big thing. I got asked a lot in like, Q&A videos and things. How do you manage your social life, your sorority, your um, grades, your YouTube, all these different things. Time management. Obviously, you also want to keep priorities. Number one, of course, for me for priorities is school. School comes before anything else. Friends, sororities, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, clubs, everything like that. You really want to keep school as your number one priority because it's obviously the most important thing. You want to get good grades. Everything else just kind of follows underneath that. So let's say you have a final on Friday and throughout the week people want to do things with you. You have like a social meeting on Wednesday. You have a um, sorority meeting on Thursday, friends want to go out on Tuesday, all these different things, you have to put your priorities first. So you have to say to your friends, I'm sorry, I can't go out this week, like maybe next week. You have to plan around that. Let's say this, the, like, the meeting is mandatory. Plan around that meeting. Make sure you have time to study before and after and all these different things. You just have to use your time management so you can be ready for the final on Friday. Number 11 is a huge thing that has helped out my grades dramatically. Honestly, I can't tell you how much it's helped me out. 
before going to class, usually professors will post like lecture notes online or if you're in high school or middle school and you know what section you're gonna be doing in class, take your book home and take notes before so you know at least what the teacher's kind of talking about because if not, you're completely lost. You're just learning it all brand new and it's all just hitting you all at once in like however long class is. If you kind of know what's happening, it'll help you understand it a lot more and after you finish class, go home or go back to your dorm or go back to your apartment, whatever it is, and just go over those notes for like an hour after class and I swear it will stay in your brain so much better. It will help you learn the information so much better and you'll be so much more prepared for that test. Number 12 is to make friends in your classes. I know you can go online in college and check the rosters in your class, which is really creepy. But if you go into the roster and let's say you like know someone from that list, you can talk to them and be like, hey, so I know that you're in this class with me. Like, do you want to meet up and we can chat about class or we could like do study guides together, you know, just like help each other learn, form a study group. If you have class, obviously in high school and middle school, it's a lot easier because a lot of you are taking more of the same classes and there's a lot less classes to take. So talk to your friends, make friends in your class, just like chat the person up next to you. Hey, what's up? What great weather we're having. And just talk to them and you can make a really good friend out of it and you can get better grades in the class. It's a win-win situation, people. Number 13 is to eat a good breakfast and eat some good snacks and just be healthy, which I know is really, really weird to be talking about to get good grades, but if you eat breakfast before school in the morning, you will be so much more awake and ready for class and your metabolism will be kicking and it'll be great, so yes. Number 14 is to dress to impress, which I know sounds very lame and cliche now that I'm saying it out loud after I wrote it on the paper, but I honestly think that if you dress cuter, you know, you don't wear like yoga pants, which I wear pretty much every day. So not only will you be more confident in yourself, but your confidence will just like exude out of you and it'll just help you out in all life situations. Not just grades, but just pretty much everything. You'll make more friends because you'll be more confident, ready to talk to people. You'll meet more people. That was the same thing. I'm just talking in circles. My last one is a little sappy, but I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I think you need to surround yourself with people who make you happy. Um, my freshman year of college, it hasn't ended yet, but the beginning of my freshman year was very rocky. Um, I had like a lot of ups and downs. I don't want to say I, I was depressed at any point because I don't think I ever got to that very serious part of depression. But I was, a lot of times I wasn't really, really happy, um, which definitely reflected on my grades. I was unmotivated. I just was not happy with my life. So now I'm at this point where I have people in my life who are constantly making me happy and just appreciating every single day, which sounds so lame, but I'm being com like completely honest. I'm so happy with my life and my grades have never been better. I'm doing so much better in school. They motivate me to do better. It's perfectly great and I really, really, really appreciate them and having them in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that it does help you guys out. I hope that, you know, it'll help you not only do better in school and get better grades and do better on midterms and finals, but also just be more confident in yourself and just be ready to take on the day and just have a great life. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!